goodness. <laughs> wow, what a bite. <laughs> You know, we leaving the Manaus airport and flying to the Itapar Lodge. I'm looking down outside the airplane and all I see is trees, trees, trees. The pilot says it's an hour and a half flight uh, to the Itapar Lodge and 20 minutes after leaving Manaus, all the cities, uh, you know, all the streets, all the cars, everything turned to trees. Just seeing all those things just, you know, lets you know you're not in the United States anymore. You're out here in the middle of the Amazon forest and uh, you know, when we finally had, uh, I looked out the window and, and saw the, uh, the landing strip for the lodge. I just had this overwhelming feeling. I've got this overwhelming feeling of, man, we get to start fishing now. Yeah, my expectations were very high coming to the Itapara Lodge here off the Amazon River. Um, you know, looking at Instagram, social media, all these giant peacock bass that were being caught. Uh, in early October, mid-October, we're here in late October, so my ex ex expectations were super high. All the videos I looked at and research I've done, uh, some of the most vicious strikes um, come from those topwater style baits. So the first, uh, the first rod and reel um, I picked up was a straight 65 pound um, smackdown beret. I didn't have any leader, or I don't have any leader on this, this rod and reel. It's just a straight 65 pound test smackdown braid to a walking style bait and a prop style lure um, and just like in the united states when i'm frog fishing or if i'm throwing you know those those walking style baits like a like a zara spook um, uh, you know a, um, you know a giant dog x something like that um, I, I use a lot of straight braid which means it's straight braided line i tie directly to the line tie of the bait um, and that's just kind of how you know that's just in my mind um, large mouth fishing or small mouth bass fishing top water. That's exactly the setup we use. So this is the rod I'm going to choose. Yep, yep. Oh! <laughs> yeah. yeah! That's awesome. Come on, babe. <laughs> Got it all the way at the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, followed it. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah! Fantastic, man. Fantastic, man. <laughs> At the boat. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> there was like four cuatro cinco. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. It's fantastic. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> the very first peacock bass bite I had was unreal. It's literally undescribable how much power these peacocks hit. The best way to describe it is being on the side of a freeway, grabbing your rod and reel, casting your line out into the freeway and a car grabbing hold of it and you just cannot stop them. I don't care how big they are, three pounds, four pounds, 12 pounds, 10 pounds, it doesn't matter. You cannot stop them. It's 10 whole seconds of just pandemonium. Just hold on, hold on. Don't go in there. Don't go in the trees. Don't go in the trees. And that feeling right there, I mean, every single time it happens, it's just, it's just no bass can compare in the United States. No bass, no small mouth, no large mouth, no spotted bass. On day one, my expectations, I, I really didn't know what to expect. Uh, it wasn't until um, I saw a big 10 pound uh, uh, paca, peacock bass, um, eat a topwater lure from Pepe, you know, my partner that was in the boat. And when I'm working a lure, I was working it real slow, a lot like largemouth bass. And, and, you know, I didn't have a starting point, so that was it, fishing it real slow. Um, and again, it wasn't until Pepe had that giant blow up on top water and he was fishing it really fast and erratically. Ch -ch 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 stop, Ch -ch 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 stop. And that right there opened my eyes and, and, and fortunately on, on day one. Oh yeah, gosh, they're strong, man. 